video update one on Major Hurricane Marie, which is uh, a, a Category 4 storm with winds of 150 miles per hour and a pressure of around 936 millibars or thereabouts. Uh, the storm is expected to become a Category 5 hurricane, the first one of the Eastern Pacific so far. Uh, though land effects are not expected, uh, the storm is expected to move out to sea, peaking in the next 24 hours and then beginning a gradual weakening trend. Uh, towards dissipation in around five days time which is around uh, Friday the end of this coming week we'll probably see the storm be no more uh, but in the next 24 hours in particular uh, we're going to see uh, the storm's beauty I suppose um, as it peaks possibly as a category 5 storm I know one model in particular we'll see in a moment is rather bullish on its intensity uh, but really there is nothing stopping it for the next 24 hours or so sea surface temperatures first of all uh, very warm indeed 28 or 29 degrees Celsius that's likely to continue uh, at least above 26 degrees for the next two days or so um, possibly a bit longer than that so sea surface temperatures aren't going to be any issue there. Uh, wind shear as well, uh, it's not very often that it's really low, but it is at the moment. Look at those uh, amounts there. Blue areas indicate very low amounts of shear indeed, uh, and that's uh, ahead of the storm right now. So low amounts of wind shear and indeed dry air is possibly the only impediment for the storm. Uh, a little bit of dry air towards its northwest, which is where the storm's headed, of course. But in the next day or so, not looking too bad at all. The intensity comparisons, uh, the DSHP model, uh, which is usually the most reliable takes it off the chart uh, possibly 165 miles per hour or higher the other models uh, two of those there the LGM and the SPC3 take it to a category 5 storm uh, as far as track forecast is concerned, it's fairly confident with the models uh, as to where it will go. Generally, a northwestward track, uh, taking it well away from any land areas, that's not going to be an, any issue at all. Uh, wind shear, uh, according to the models, is going to be low to moderate, uh, actually a gradual decline, according to these. Uh, but generally low to moderate amounts and uh, sea surface temperatures are going to be okay for the next two days or so before beginning to drop uh, below 26 degrees by August 27th if these are to be believed. Relative humidity is remaining fairly high, it is high at the moment, over 80%. That's likely to gradually decrease over the next few days uh, to 60% by August 29th. Um, if you go by those numbers. Uh, this is the latest satellite imagery. This is where we can see the actual storm. Day has just broken uh, where the storm is located. You can see a very well-defined eye uh, that has formed in particular in the not last few hours uh, moving towards the west. Perhaps a little tint, uh, hint of southward heading uh, in the storm's movement there as well but a very well defined storm uh, all the eye wall around it is complete and very strong indeed winds of 150 miles per hour possibly even higher than that now and indeed wind gusts may end up being comfortably into category 5 strength uh, but certainly a sight to behold as well uh, possibly the first category 5 storm of the eastern pacific in 2014 um, it would surprise me if not at this point so as of August the 24th, of course we have Marie, we have Carina, what's left of Lowell, uh, which dissipated or turned post-tropical yesterday, and Cristobal, which formed in the Atlantic uh, an hour or two ago. Uh, an update on that is also online right now. Uh, the rest of the world is fairly quiet, the Western Pacific also fairly quiet, as has been the case there for 14 days, believe it or not. Uh, 50 storms have formed in 2014 worldwide though, 25 of those have become Category 1 cyclones with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher and 14 of those have become Category 3 storms with winds of 115 miles per hour plus. I believe two of those have become Category 5 so far, I can't remember now, uh, but I think it is two, Halong and Genevieve, this could be the third. Uh, you can visit Force 13 on any of its six outlets. The website is the main place to be, of course, force13.com, which will keep you most up to date with all the goings on around the world, tropics wise. Of course, the uh, video pages, YouTube and Daily Motion, will keep you re regularly updated on the storms, too, especially important ones. Um, just search Force 13 on those. And, of course, the social platforms, Facebook and Twitter. Just search Force 13 on those. It's at Force 13 on Twitter. And you can add me on Skype personally, at Fool 13 on there, for a tropical weather chat um, on Skype about the current tropical weather situation. 
You can also visit the control room, which covers the Atlantic and Eastern Pacific, giving them more vis visual representation of what's going on right now. And of course, the forum, where you can chat and discuss topics with fellow Storm Trackers, uh, 413.com forward slash forum for that. The next update on this storm, if necessary, will follow in 24 hours' time. <laughs> 